Hello everyone. Welcome to this video all to science and questions. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started with the introduction. We will be using the Axgen dataset. This dataset is from Kaggle. I'll give the link in the description box. Below is the sample data which we will be getting. Let me show you the CSV file. So it has the accident ID, start time, end time, time zones, zip codes, and some weather parameters. Let's move on to our question. The first one is to display the day time wise accidents for each time zones. If we see our data, we don't have day time as morning, afternoon, and all. So we'll have to create this custom column. Let's move on to all tricks now. First of all, Let's bring in our input data using the input data tool. Create a connection. So this is done. Next, let's bring our formula tool. To create morning, afternoon, day, we will at least see the time also. We don't have any column which specifies the specific time. So let's use the start time to extract the time from here. For that, let's create a new column called as time. Bring in our start time and we'll just convert it into time format. Okay. For the next column, let's rename it as day time. We'll use the time which we have already created and we'll use the if case statement. So if The time is greater than or equal to, let's say, 6 o'clock in the morning. And this time is less than or equal to 12. Sorry. 12. Then morning, else if if it is greater than or equal to twelve and less than or equal to let's take it four pm. Then it will be afternoon. Now we'll give it for evening for that from 4 p.m. till 18 that is 6 p.m. we can keep it as evening. Else it will be night and we'll end this. Okay. So let's browse, bring in our browse to check the results. Okay, so our two columns are created. So if you see, this is 12, so this is night. This is 6 a.m., so it's morning. It's 2 p.m., so it's afternoon. And it's 5 p.m., so it's evening. So this column is created. Now let's move on to our question, which was to display the accident for each time zones. For that, we'll bring in the summarize tool. It's taking some time as the data is around 1 GB. So first let's have our day time. Group it. 
next let's have our time zone and finally the accident number for accident number we'll have to count this id right so this is how we'll get it let's bring in our browse tool okay so this is how we are getting the results for each time zones the accident numbers what data the first question is done moving on to the next question we need to sort the output in that data and sequence so currently the output is evening morning is not sorted right we have to sort it from starting from morning till night to do that, we will have to create a lookup table. So let me try a text input to create a lookup table. And this will be, let's give it lookup daytime. This would be the sort sequence. First, let's have morning, which will be sequence one, afternoon, two, evening will be three, night will be four. Okay, so we, we can create this in excel as well but i'm just giving it as a text input next thing we can use we can join this let's bring in our join we'll give this input and we'll give this input as well we will have to join based on Okay, I think I gave it the field name was daytime, right? This was our sort. Okay, so now let's go to our sort. Uh, so this is from our left table. Left table, we need the daytime. This is left daytime, and from this also we join based on the daytime. Let's bring in our browse tool to check the join results. Sorry, this is not left. This has to come from join. Okay, so now we get this, which is morning will be sorted as one. For evening is three, at night it is working. Okay, now we can use the sort tool. If you directly use a sort tool, it just have ascending and descending, right? So we cannot use directly this one. Let's bring in our join and attach to this sort tool. And we'll sort it based on our sort order, which is ascending. Okay, so now we see morning is at the top, then afternoon, then evening, and finally the night for each reason. Let's move on to our next question. 
Okay, the next third question would be to accept the data from user using a drop down, and finally, will be to display the output in CSVs based on the user selections. So, in this, we'll have to use macro. So, let me just save my workflow. For macro, we'll bring in the macro input first. In this, let's enter the sample. So let's keep, we'll be entering daytime here and something like sample night. Okay, any sample we can give. We'll be passing in day, night and all those four things from here. The next would be to bring in a filter tool so that we can filter out all this night, day times. Use a custom filter, the data which we have created here, right? Let's take this day time and let it be equal to the value which we have given is S night. Let's just check this again. It was S small night. I think it's the same value we have given. This is how if for a single record will work, right? We'll have to we'll enter an input and it'll get filtered based on the night and day, whatever columns we have. But we had to loop this for various other parameters or as well, right? So in that case, we'll have to use the iteration. First of all, let's bring in our drop down box so that we can define the values which we want to keep in this drop down. Okay. Here we'll have to give manual set values. So let me first give morning, give an enter. So this is one record per line, afternoon, evening, and finally the night. To link it this to this filter, right, we'll use this Q symbol and bring it to the lightning symbol. Here yeah, we'll update multiple options, but we'll update the values. So whatever value which we are getting in S night, right? Let's replace this. So this value will get replaced with morning, night, afternoon values coming from the other part. Let's have an output declared. So let's keep our output. Let's just set up a connection for this output. We give this as O1 underscore time. To update the output again dynamically, we'll again have to use this iteration to replace it. In this, we will select the time. Okay, we'll be replacing the time which we have given. So we're going to replace this string. Missing incoming connection. So for this connection, we need this value. Right? So we'll again have to save this workflow because we will be using this as a, this macro has to be used, right? So let's save this. Let's make it as K2. Let's move on to our original workflow now. We'll right click. First of all, let's do a select statement so that we don't pass unnecessary fields into it. Sort is not needed here. Daytime from left, it is coming left, daytime is not needed. We can take it only from our summarized tool, time zone, count distinct. Let's display this as accidents. Okay, this works. Now let's right click on this and insert our macro. We have a macro called, sorry. Q2, which we created now. 
we have to choose the field, okay? So we have the data and field based on which it will be defined and this is how our drop down is looking like, okay? Now let's try to run this. Let's see our output. Okay, so this file was not even properly, we have to define it. Okay, there is some issue. I just correct that. I'll show you the workflow which I already had it. So, this is the same one. Let me try to show you the output how it will be. This is how the morning file will be created because in the drop down we have selected morning. You can see based on daytime time zone, the number of accidents for morning is being displayed. Once validated, we can check that as well in our summarize. So, for morning, US instead was 266068. Okay, which shows the same value. Now, let's try another drop down okay, since it's user based, right? For that, you can check, click here night and let's try the night one. So that night file is created. This will have night time zone and what are the accidents. So let's validate this part as well. I'm going to summarize. So US center is 201107. Central is 201. Okay, so this looks fine. Thank you for watching.